Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. <coughs> Today, I would like to try to present to you a special dish that uh, uh, I used to eat when I was young uh, during my period in, uh, in France. I found out that this dish here is missing a little bit for me. So basically, it is a stew beef a French style. What I'm using here, it is a free type of meat. We have New Zealand lamb chain. You get also some American beef inside ground. And also I'm having some real short plate. So all this kind of category, we were eating as a slow cook. So the meat I'm cooking here is about two hours in a red wine with mushrooms and uh, smoked bacon. Okay. So as you can see here, the beef is reducing reducing and the meat become very soft that would be my base i will use also a mashed potatoes from long western where is uh we need to handle this a little bit more in a good way is to drain to drain the mash you don't use the mashed potato and or open it and you eat immediately you cannot you have to drain the water okay how we do it just in a pan you have the potato and you whisk until the mash become more cheetah, kind of, okay? That the water is going out. That you get kind of hard mashed potato, as you can see here, okay? And basically, the mashed potato, you don't have milk and, and butter the different way. You dissu your butter on the milk. That is more easy for you to pour all elements in one together, okay? So you can get a soft mashed potatoes. I'm using also here some parsley. I will show you also that we can gratinate my dish with two kinds of cheese. One is parmesan and one is mozzarella. So I, do, I will do my montage, okay? I'm using a plate where I can oven bake in a oven. It's very important. So I'm adding my, my stew beef. You have to make sure that the meat is very soft, huh? So one layer of this mix, stew beef, French style, and we call bourguignon style, or in a red wine style. Okay. This dish is very interesting because when the chef has some leftover of different kind of cuts, one he do a burger, or two he can steal and create a new dish. With this. The mashed potato I put in a small pocket that is easy for me to pour. Just before that, uh, I'm using the truffle oil. I would just give some small flavor of the truffle oil on top of my beef. I'm adding a little bit parsley, fresh parsley, and my potatoes. By using this pocket, you can see that I don't lose it when my casserole, everything is going in my pocket. I talk about pocket, this is a pocket, we call it, this is a Porsche, okay? I take a spoon. You can see the potatoes, just make a line. And here we use parmesan. You can prepare this in advance, huh? If you have a lot of customer, you can do this at the night, and tomorrow you just bake in the oven. Okay. So the dish is ready. You just clean up around. And you will open back for 180 
for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay? After the the crust will come and the brown color will come, you will be done. No need to wait the beef cook or the mashed potatoes. It's already cooked. Okay? This is a very good dish. At the end of the week, you have the leftover beef, you don't know what to do, you just stew it. Okay? So this is the dish finished. When you got in it. Okay. So one is from mozzarella and one is from parmesan cheese. It's depending on the cost where you want to go. Okay. And you bake it. And you get this result. Alright? So for the beef you can make also a number of options. The lamb or the veal. It can be like a ragu. Nice ragu, and you do another dish with the mashed potatoes. So the idea here is, when you crack, you take the mash and the beef, go and wow. And you get the melt cheese, and you get the beef. So ciao, thank you. Are we pleased to come?